In this video, we will explain how the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point Northern Aquaculture Demonstration Facility treats walleye eggs with formalin during the incubation stages to reduce fungus and bacteria growth. Keep in mind that eggs should be disinfected with iodine before they are placed in the incubators. This example should be used as a basic guideline. It is important to develop operational procedures that are most suitable for your specific operation. Before you do any sort of treatment on fish or eggs, it is critical that you understand the regulations, including approved usage and concentration of the treatment drug. It is also recommended that you consult a veterinarian before administering any treatment to your fish. In this example, we are using formalin. The FDA approves a range of 1,000 to 2,000 microliters per liter formalin concentration for egg treatments. Formalin is toxic to fry, therefore it is critical that you do not treat if fry are present or if eggs are in advanced stage of eye up. The first step is to calculate the amount of treatment needed to reach a specific concentration in your system for 15 minutes. A great resource for determining this is the Fish Culture section of the American Fisheries Society. A link to this resource will also be provided in the video description below. On the website, download the Treatment Calculator Excel file. Carefully follow the instructions in the spreadsheet, which will calculate the necessary volume of formalin needed for your system. We will be treating our bell jar incubation system, which is a flow-through system. Therefore, we start at the flow-through treatments start here tab. For example, at NADF, we have a 75 gallon head tank that flows into various bell jars with a flow rate of 12 liters per minute. We can now move on to the formalin tab. The approved treatment duration for formalin is 15 minutes for treating fish eggs. The facility uses a concentration of 1,667 microliters per liter formalin. The spreadsheet calculated a volume of 0.5 liters of formalin to add initially to the head tank and 20 milliliters per minute during the treatment. 20 milliliters per minute for a 15 minute treatment is 300 milliliters total. Adding together the 0.5 liters and 0.3 liters gives us a total volume of 0.8 liters or 0.77 liters formalin needed. We can use the same Excel spreadsheet calculator for other treatments, such as hydrogen peroxide, to treat eggs. In the past, UWSP NADF has treated walleye eggs with either formalin or hydrogen peroxide. If hydrogen peroxide is used, we would use a concentration of 700 mg per liter for 15 minutes as a flow through dosage. The calculator shows we would need a total volume of 318 milliliters of 35% peroxide dosed over a 15 minute period. Once you have calculated the volume of total treatment needed, you will need to have a way of dispersing the treatment into the head tank where it will be well mixed before flowing into the bell jars. For larger operations, a peristaltic pump may be utilized to distribute the treatment. For smaller operations, a chicken water is an easy and effective way to disperse the treatment over the 15 minutes. This is done by drilling a hole in the outer rim of the chicken waterer. According to the resource Introduction to Fish Health Management, a 16th inch hole in a chicken water delivers 946 milliliters of liquid in 15 minutes. Whether you utilize a 16th inch hole or slightly larger, it is critical that you test the water to determine the specific volume needed to disperse in 15 minutes through the size of the hole drilled. An easy way to test this is to first drill a hole in the outer rim of the chicken water. Next, fill up the chicken water with water and set a timer for 15 minutes. Start the chicken water and collect all the water flowing out of the rim. Once the 15 minutes is up, stop the chicken water and dispose of all the remaining water. Pour the collected water back into the chicken water and mark the level. Retest again and ensure all water empties in 15 minutes. Once you verify the volume of water that is needed to disperse over a 15 minute period, you may begin the treatment. Be sure to wear the correct personal protective equipment for the chemical you are using. First, measure out the amount of formalin that will dose over the treatment period. In our example, this was 0.3 liters. Add this amount to the chicken water. Next, add enough water to reach your volume mark, determined previously. 
measure out the amount of formalin to dose initially to the head tank. In our example, it was 0.5 liters. When you are ready to begin the treatment, first dose the head tank with the initial treatment dose. Immediately after, place the chicken water above the head tank to begin the 15 minute drip. Make sure it is stable and will not tip over. Placement of drip should be situated near inflowing water or an air diffuser so that the treatment is well mixed in the head tank before flowing to the eggs. Be sure to monitor the treatment over the 15 minutes. Eggs can be treated proactively every few days or daily if fungus is observed. This is also based on individual hatchery protocols. Feel free to connect with us for additional resources or questions at aquaculture.uwsp.edu.